Hey guys, it's Tool Growth Thrifts here and it is a rainy day today. Um, I spent most of the morning uh, inventorying some things that I needed to list and getting them listed and then gathering together the items that I have to ship out today. And um, now uh, the rain's kind of breaking up a little bit so I'm trying to make it out um, to go ship off my items and then hopefully um, Maybe the rain will keep everyone away from the thrift stores. So I'm just going to take you guys um, thrifting with me today. And hopefully we find some good stuff. And then I'll also show you guys uh, what I meant by inventorying as well. So yeah, stick along with me for the ride and uh, find out what we have to do today. Okay, so I found this cool Lincoln Log set. Um, in the store I couldn't tell if all the pieces were there. But when I got home, I sorted it all out um, by different sizes and what pieces there were. Thankfully, there was an inventory guide on the side of the box that was able to help me. I didn't have to look it up or anything on any extra website, which sometimes you have to do. So everything ended up being there, um, all the building blocks, all the pieces, except for the girl that comes with it. Um, she was missing her skirt. So I put it um, as mostly complete, but made sure to let the buyers know in the listing. And then also at Goodwill, I found these cute little Justin boots, these little combat boots. And then I also found a Nike golf hat, which is worth about $15. These quick kits aren't worth anything, but they sure were a blast from the past. I had those as a kid. They're pretty cool. And um, I'm starting to get into clothing and jeans specifically a little more. So I found these buckle jeans. Um, that was a brand I learned about from Hustle and Hooks. And they were in great shape and only $8. And then um, look at these guys. So this is probably one of the best finds ever. So they're Rainbow Bright Shoes. Vintage. One little stain on them. And I'm going to show you actually a little closer up view of them. So they are from 1983, still new with the tags on them. Amazing. So I had no idea how to go about pricing these things. Usually I just look up an item, I describe it or type in a barcode and find the comparisons of sold listings. These, I couldn't find anything even in the same ballpark. Um, they're definitely one of a kind. So I looked them up on Terapeak, which is a free resource that eBay sellers can use. And I just pulled it up right on my phone, searched Rainbow Bright Shoes, which you can get as vague or as specific as you want here. And um, for the duration of time, I just looked up the last 365 days. And you can make that whatever time, but um, I just needed to look at the max amount of time. So scroll through, look at the listings, and get an idea of what your the item that you're selling is worth. And you'll see mine right here sold for $100 on March 24th. But before that, there was nothing else even remotely similar. Um, so what I did, I just listed mine at an auction rate. And thankfully, they sold. And I did not have to lower the price at all. Um, here it is over here on the left side of the seller hub. It is called Terapeak Product Research. And uh, how auctions work is you can set the time duration as well as uh, what you want the starting bid to be at. And I usually don't do auctions, but it's really great for things like this where you don't really know the value and uh, it just gives you a good place to start. And then who knows, it could go higher or it may not even sell. And if it doesn't sell, then after that duration of time, that's why I like to do only seven days for an auction as if it doesn't sell for that amount. Then you can just start it all over again um, and then do a new auction, seven day duration, and just lower the price and see what happens. So thankfully mine sold um, on the first try uh, for $100. On a separate day, believe it or not, I found the same pair at the same Goodwill, but in purple. That day I also found a pair of Miss Me jeans for $12 and they're worth about um, maybe $45 to $60. And uh, make sure you inspect these really good because you don't want them to have holes in them, you know, rip seams or any loose belt buckles or, or belt loops or, you know, mess up zipper, anything like that. Then at my other favorite thrift store, I found this original Jurassic Park. I'm not even going to pronounce his name, but a really awesome dinosaur. And then I also found a TI-84 calculator. 
um, just uh, sitting on the stationary shelf. So um, I'll have to test it when I get home, but uh, yeah, for $3, really, really good find. So I like to look at the plush animals, and this was a Webkin's signature cow. So you can tell from that little logo on the foot, it's a different color than the other Webkin's ones. This cow is a little yellowed, um, so he's probably not worth too much, and I put him back. Um, looking at the other ones, I found um, this Disney bear um, from Disney Parks. And I didn't think it would be worth much because he just looks like a teddy bear, but he's uh, a hidden Mickey bear. And he's only $4 here, and he's worth about 20 to 25 these are some more Disney items. Um, I forgot what they're called, um, but they ended up not really being worth too much, especially when they wanted $9 for the whole bag. So I would put that back. And then uh, y'all might recognize these. These are called the Backyardigans. Um, really, really fun kids show. And they only wanted two bucks a piece. And the whole lot of them, uh, those four are worth about $40. Um, the bad thing is that they were missing uh, one of the characters or else it would be worth about 50. So I saw these horses from across the store and this one is actually an American Girl doll horse and you can see from the very bottom of the foot um, that logo right there. And I saw another Webkin's signature plush animal. Um, this elephant, he's worth maybe $15 but some weren't selling for very much. Um, but this DVD right here it's an anime one, scanned it, and it's worth 35 to $40. It's not every day you have finds like these, but I'm very blessed for what I have found. Thank you all for watching.